Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a review on a product that I re received from my buddy Anthony Tran at Vapors Cloud. As you can tell from all the stuff that you see in front of you, I really like high powered devices. I like building a high resistance coil with tons of wraps and jamming a ton of power to it. Um, I'd rather do that than build low. So what I got here, are 260 watts, my box. Series Fog Box by Fogwind. Vaporgate Triple Series Box. Uh, cock Box Series. Original 180 watt God Box. BFM Stacked. Congestus Stacked. Vapor Giant Stacked. And a pair of Skatua Stacked Brass and Coppers. Um, so what am I going to add to this? Ridiculous collection. <laughs> this thing. It is the VCM by Vapors Cloud. It is a stacked 18650 tube mod. First stacked 18650 tube mod I've seen in production, and the thing is freaking cool. Let me show you what's up with it. All right, so the basic body of the VCM is a copper tube, and it's um, covered in, almost in like a a vinyl or a rubber finish. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, this is not on their website yet, so I haven't been able to look at all the specs and I haven't talked to Anthony too much about it. I just wanted to get my hands on the thing and vape it. It's a hybrid, which is nuts for a stacked. Um, sort of like the BFM, it's really similar in that regard. That's the only other hybrid stacked uh, I've ever used. But uh, with the holes in here and whatnot, you can just stick your uh, Needle, gate, needle nose pliers in there and unscrew it or you can just do it yourself. It's a really um, simple design. This I believe is what? Is it, pro is it copper or brass that's been plated in gold? Um, one of the two. It's very conductive. We've got the two batteries in here. Now what makes this guy really neat from a lot of the other um, tube mods, period, out there, let alone a stacked or a series, you know, 8.4 um, volt device, is the switch. So, <clears throat> initially, you look at it, it feels like a magnet. This moves up and down to make the connection, and this Delrin separates. It, the battery from the switch itself, right? Not a big deal. Let's get close and I'll show you what's going on inside here. Okay, so threading on this, great. Um, let's go ahead and we'll take this Delrin piece out. Or it's not Delrin, it's, it feels like Peak. It's probably Peak. This guy is a monster. Looks like and feels like silver and it's, there's tons of connectivity there. When I take this out and open it up, what we got going on here is tons of threading, by the way, which is great for connectivity also. So you're not using anything in the switch. It's a rectangle in there. That moves up and down. When I pop out the back, you can see pair of magnets that are set into the corresponding pieces. This is square. The throw on it is wonderfully smooth. Um, it just works. You know, it, it doesn't, there's no resistance. Um, it's a straight path. Works out really great. And then in here, can you see lining the inside, that white thing? It looks like a white thing. It is... Okay, I'm going out on a limb and saying this because I haven't asked him yet. But it feels like it's a silver coil. And, you know, you coiled it up, flattened it out, and jammed it in here. Now, what's the benefit of that? This guy, when it sits in there, is making contact with the entire switch. Um, it's, there's always contact with it, sliding up and down. So finally when it goes, oops, magnet time. 
when this guy decides to throw it up, what ends up happening is there's connectivity throughout this whole thing. A lot of the other mech switches rely on you to finally push up to the point where this bottom part touches some level in here. Um, what this design is doing, which is extremely freaking clever, is you're, you have connection the entire way. Um, I should probably have asked him before I said all that, but that's what I think. <laughs> that's what I think with this guy. So that's the switch in a nutshell. This guy, this guy with the magnet on the bottom, switch on top, peak. <laughs> yep, that's it. And it's a killer switch. It feels great. It has not hot spotted for me. I run this safe, I run it unsafe, and I run it stupid. And um, so far, I haven't had any issues. The contact is not burnt at any point. Um, it's still fresh, it's still smooth, it feels awesome. So I couldn't be more pleased with this switch, right? Craziness, madness. <laughs> Come on, get one last little peek at that. You guys see it now? In there? There you go. That thing. It's crazy cool. It's crazy cool. And it's, it's in there. It's, it's sort of surrounding this whole chamber. And that's the inside. This is the underside. Magnet goes in there. Um, that's it. Yep. Sweet. So, how does it vape, right? Um, vape's hard. So what I have in here right now is... Um, about a 0 0.41 on my alliance and I'm wrapping safe and uh, responsibly on camera so I don't uh, lead by poor example <laughs> but it's a 0 0.4 4, 4, 1, 4, 2. Um, so let me hit it for you It wasn't screwed on all the way. Okay. Awesome, 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 awesome. I'm gonna switch it up. And it's gonna look extremely ugly, but I'm gonna put a uh, 30 millimeter out here, or not 30, 28 and a half, the big alliance. I'm gonna put that on here now. And um, I like the building a little better. Ironically, this guy is also at like a 0.4, or no, it's at a 0.39, I think. Um, but it's still safe, <laughs> and now it looks like a magic wand. So this thing, it just delivers power, you know? there's no doubt about it. Super happy with it. Very cool that I got this guy to review. Um, you know, I'm just going to leave the 18 on there. Isn't it? I mean, it cooks. 
and this is a pretty high resistance build. Um, you can you can go lower, you can go down on this to about a point two eight or something like that before you exceed the amp limit. Um, I mean, let me I'll show you guys what I mean by that. All right, so I just had to check um, with Anthony, and he said that it was silver beryllium. That's what's actually in the switch there. And he's claiming that this thing has zero voltage drop because of that. Um, it makes a lot of sense. You know, you lose a lot of power in the, in the switch. That's the negative end, right? And the reason why it hot spots is because it's not as conductive as the positive side. So with the, the mix between a hybrid cap and the silver lining and the, the silver pin and the silver ring around it, and this is gold-plated copper on the top and the bottom. I mean, the thing is a conductive monster. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. So for a few people that um, have been asking me about series builds and saying, well, are they safe? Are they not safe? What do you push on them? Um, this is what I'm going to show you guys. So right here you have a picture of 4.2 volts, which is a standard battery, and 8.4, which is series or stacked, or however you want to think about it. Um, when you use a parallel box with two batteries, you double the amperage, and you double the MA, but the voltage stays the same. So you're looking at a 60 amp um, limit on that particular build. When you go to 8.4 volts and you use it in series or stacked, the amperage stays the same because the voltage is doubling. So you only have 30 amps there, but the surprising thing is, when you do the math, they're still pushing 252 watts. Um, you know, people have been asking me, what do I build on a series now that I've been building on blank, blank, blank? And it's, well, think of it like this. What you want to do is get your all day vape, what you are comfortable with, and you want to times it by four. So in the diagram, you're looking at if you are comfortable with a 0.07 on a parallel box pushing a full 60 amps to get the same relative vape you're looking at 0.28 and that is also going to draw 30 amps ironically it's going to push the same amount of power so why would you go series over a parallel box right to get your resistance that high you need a lot more wraps, right? You need to change your building style. What that results in is more surface area, results in more vapor, it results in more flavor. It's a cool, it's a completely different experience than building super low on a parallel box. Um, it's not for everybody. There's also a few things you gotta think about with battery safety, like, um, Make sure your batteries are in good condition, that they're not fraying, that the, uh, the insulators are not tearing off, you know, the sheathing is not tearing off. You want to actually pair your batteries and marry them, so you're always using the same batteries together all the time, and you want to rotate which one is on top. You want to alternate that. Um, what else? Use the same type of batteries. Don't mix them up. Don't use... An, EFES with an MREN, with a Samsung, with a Sony, uh, with an LG, with a Sanyo. I mean, you, it, that's a terrible idea. You want them both to discharge at the same rate, you want them to charge at the same rate, and you want them to age and decay at the same rate. Um, that will ensure that your batteries aren't screwing themselves over. And as soon as you put them on the charger and you sort of see if one battery is charging faster than another or discharging faster than another, then you want to move on to a new pair of batteries for your um, series or your stack. So that's my little bit on battery safety when it comes to these guys. Um, oh yeah, last thing. So this stacked, you didn't make very many of them. These guys, I think there's only a couple hundred. I don't know how many are left. They're going to be hard to find. What he's doing though is he's releasing the, um, the, the VCM series in a single 
18650 and in a single 26650 um, with the same button technology. And those guys are going for only 105 bucks. <laughs> it's, it's a killer deal for um, an amazing piece of hardware. So, Vapor's Cloud, V A P E R Z Cloud, okay? Um, I typed it in a couple times wrong just because I wasn't paying attention and because of spell check and all that really good stuff. But, um, what else? Check them out. I think you'll love them. Um, I, it, they're well made. They perform beautifully. They perform hard. They hit like. They fucking hit. <laughs> so, um, that's it. See you later. can't get it off now. <laughs> I gotta use my needle nose. Luckily though, they have holes in there so you stick them in and twist it and, and you're good. <laughs>